this uh, begins part two of the uh, video. Here we have an Indian warrior, plains warrior, buffalo hunter. You can see the, old, the buffalo skull down there. That the Indian takes great pride in his religion. Um, it m makes him as a man who he is and his family, everything. Here he's sitting bull, originally a, me a medicine man, not so much a warrior, but one committed to take care of his tribe. Here's a supposedly a blanket owned by Sitting Bull. The 3D wax mannequin of the great prophet of the Sioux Indians, Sitting Bull. Next in fame to Sitting Bull on the wars with Custer out there in South Dakota, here we have the famous Crazy Horse. Note the white. He prided himself in his poverty deliberately sought to get rid of all wealth and own nothing but defender of his tribe here's a man standing in front of crazy horses supposedly he's buried somewhere out there in the field there according to this gentleman here no one knows for sure but or maybe someone does and isn't telling but this is the sign uh, on uh, near Pine Ridge South Dakota picture of the mystic uh, Black Hills you can see the black Hills were named called Pahasapa by the Indians. Just Black Hills, just because of the dark evergreen stands you can see all over. And although this area here has been heavily touristed up, but here's the Indian warrior that fought Custer. The, the type of costume they would have had on that day. At the right the rifles, a lot of them had. A lot of them did have Winchesters, but uh, there was a lot of bow and arrow use you know, war clubs, that type thing. Here's an actual item of Custer's here, uh, some kind of a bag there. You can see the Custer on there, uh, and here's a saddle, but I'm not sure whose that is, if that's Custer's saddle or who. Tools of battle here, you can just see the Indian war bonnet and the, the uh, bow and arrow type thing. On to the Custer battle now. Here we're, we're seeing... Uh, the fight on the Little Bighorn River here, Reno's first, uh, where he got trapped by some Indians and was unable to come to Custer's relief. You just see the horse falling there. The, there's the Little Bighorn River there in the background. These next couple pictures are just of the Reno battle. You can just see the, once again, you know, the Indian, his pride in his horse, defending his family. And the buff chasing the buffalo. Another scene here from the Reno fight. You can see he's trying to get the rescue that trooper there has been dismounted. Another scene from the Reno fight. Reno's trying to escape here. He was part of a diversion supposed to attack one end of the village and then he ended up getting attacked. And then he was put out of the game. Wounded soldier here from Reno's command. Another angle here of Reno's gunning, running gunfight with the Indians. It's basically trying to escape at this point. And they're trapped. They would uh, enter, go to a ridge and uh, entrench themselves. They were never able to help Custer out. They're still running here in this picture. Trying to escape Crook. The undoubted fate of some of um, the men of uh, Reno's command, as well as Custer's, the scalping. Another picture here of Reno's command. Now there's another video on this channel that actually gives you a tour of the battlefield, so you can see where Reno was trapped, as well as you know where the, the last stand actually was. So, and there's part one to this video as well. This confused looking picture is a picture of the Custer's last stand, which was about two miles away from where Reno was trapped on the ridge there after he was beaten on the little bighorn. So you can just see the confused fighting here. Picture here one of Custer's troopers just they're just trapped out in the open. They're just being picked off by arrows, bull, bullets, you, you name it at long range. They're, they're wide out in the open as you can see from the Custer video of the battlefield itself. The Indians uh, who were at the battle here said it 
really wasn't much of a battle at all, just in the time it took a man to eat a meal, that's how long it took to pick off Custer's force. Unsupported and uh, entirely out in the open. Another picture here from the Big Horn, Little Bighorn Museum here, just showing you know, some of the chaos. The troopers' horses are being killed, and just they're just being picked off. Little detachments tried to escape, but didn't make it very far. Another picture here, they're just out in the open. You can just see the Indians are just picking them off. They're in that ridge right out there, just sitting duck. Another picture from Custer's detachment. Another picture. Another picture here, just these next couple, just pictures of the, you know, his troopers trying to hold off being picked off from, from long range. There's just some dead horses there, a trooper there with his shirt off. Another trooper there. More shots here. There's in prone position. See the dead horses and dead men there. Here's a romanticized version of Custer there. There's the guide on of the 7th Cavalry there. Another view. Another view. There's a lot of arrows sticking in people there. You can see different arrows. Another view. Another view here. Another view. Looks like a corporal there. By this time they're they're almost all down. Here's some views of like the aftermath where they're stripping, they're stealing their boots, their clothes, their their rifles. Some of these rifles were actually found uh, like 20 year, 20, 30 years after this battle, uh, some of their 7th Cavalry's carbines were found among some Indian tribes. Here they are. Getting, these Indians got themselves some new duds at the expense of this guy right here. Another shot of this. The Indians would pay a heavy price for uh, Little Bighorn. Here's a punitive expedition after Custer's last stand to go out and punish the Indians. This was leaving from the Black Hills here. Another picture here from that expedition. Showing a uh, wounded or sick person being carried by mules here. Picture here of where an area where the uh, punitive expedition left to go after the Indians right here. See the Black Hills there, the name for the black uh, evergreen trees there that dominate everywhere. More uh, Black Hills scenery here. Near Slim Butte, South Dakota, um, American horse who was at the Battle of Little Bighorn um, on the Sioux side, they caught up with his village here, this punitive expedition you can see. Next couple pictures will just be of the, this punitive operation, although there were a lot more. More pictures here from the Slim, Slim Butte's uh, operation where they attacked the villages of uh, American horse. Women and children were killed during this attack. Some of the warriors were able to get into battle, but not, not enough of them. This village was pretty small and basically undefended. A guide on uh, of the 7th Cavalry was supposedly captured at this village of, of American horses. More Slim Buttes, uh, this scenery here just shows more. Here you see the Indians' lame attempt to uh, defend themselves. They're hiding behind their teepees. Horses stampeded. More scenery. Here you can see the troopers down in among the teepees. Here the Indians lamely tried to defend themselves. This is the last scene here. Sioux Maiden here are the type that would have been in the 
American Horses Village at the time the village was massacred. So with the little, so with the little bighorn and the uh, slim buttes, that was the end of the buffalo culture of the Indians here. They were put on reservations and uh, pretty much stayed there. No more wandering. Picture here of a buffalo skull decorated. It was a form of worship, um, sacred, you know, uh, respect for the animal, respect for the buffalo. And as a final picture here, we'll just put one in here of Custer and his last stand, his troopers. And thank you for watching this video.